how you do it. So one way to do it is what's called a chain price index. That is to try to like build a price index that takes account of the fact that the goods are changing over time. So one thing we might do is you might say the price in 2015 divided by prices in 1950 would be the price in 1951 over the price in 1950 times the price in 1952 divided by the price in 1951 dot 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 all the way up to the price in 2015 divided by the price in 2014, right? That is, we could think about saying, well, the increase in the cost of living between 1950 and 2014 was really a series of increase in the cost of living, each one going from one year to the next. So there's so much inflation in 1950, so much between 50 and 51, 51 and 52, year by year. I could then say, well, let me approximate this change by the bundle from that period in time. So you could, for example, use sum of the XI 1951, 50, PI 1951, divided by the sum of the XI 1950, PI 1950. And then do the same here, except for now, I'll use the 51 bundle to go from 51 to 52. And then just keep going like that, all the way on through. And because I'm using the same bundle in the numerator and the denominator, that's a price index. And I'm adding, if there are new goods coming in, I'm adding them in as they go, right? So that, you know, if the, new, the 51 goods aren't here at all, but anything new that came in in 51 is going to get picked up starting in 1951. Then the new things that come in. Now my cell phone's going to get in there, but it's only going to get in there when it becomes cheap enough that people actually want to buy it, right? So it's, it, the idea is, I, because I'm using the bundle from that period in time, I'm actually getting using weights that reflected people's preferences. 